you are tuning in to the Goldilocks Productions presentation of the Angels and Healing Light Show. Sit back, relax, and be open to receive the angelic messages and healing channel through your host, Laura Romero. Hi, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Angels and Healing Light Show. I'm Laura Romero, your host, hostess. I always feel strange saying host. (laughs) I'm your hostess. (laughs) Good, happy Tuesday to one and all. And I'm very happy to have you back with us with the Angels and Healing Light family. I hope your week has been fabulous. And, of course, I want to say good morning to my mom, Rini. Everybody say hi to my mom, Rini. She's back and feeling really good. So um, today I have a wonderful, wonderful special guest. I'm so excited to have her join us. She's a frequent guest on some of our other shows with Carol Ann Carey in the Psychic Flow and with the Jimmy Mack Show. And knowing her personally, having had readings from her, I am just so delighted to have her share her insight and her wisdom and her love and her humor and compassion with all of us. This is Joanne Leo. Joanne Leo, welcome and good morning to you. Hello, Joanne. Well, I promise she's with us. <laughs> Joanne is. Hi, Joanne. Good morning to you. So Joanne is originally from Chicago, uh, a place where I got to live for quite a few years. What a wonderful place to enjoy. There's so much history and fun there. But Joanne, being from Chicago, so uh, another little connection that we have together. But she is a wonderful psychic and medium and numerologist. And one of her gifts is being able to, to take your name and your birth date and create a reading for you that is so astoundingly accurate. And she ha- she does readings with a heart. That's what she calls them, readings with a heart. And she's definitely a straight shooter. She's very honest. She's very forthcoming. She's very compassionate. And she'll give you that nudge you need to get you going in the right direction. So, Joanne, how are you today? Mm, sounds like Joanne is having some moments of quiet. <laughs> Bear with me just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, Joanne's going to, sounds like she's having some phone difficulty, so we're going to just have her call back in. And that's the way it goes sometimes, right? Sometimes the, sometimes it just it is what it is. So we'll, we'll just be patient and know that it's coming on back. And I know that as soon as she's on, she'll say hello again. Hello, Joanne, you with me? There you are. I am. Good Hi. morning. How are Good you? Morning. I'm fine. I could hear you, and unfortunately, you couldn't hear me back. So, uh, but we're, we're good. good. Okay. That's okay. Welcome. Thank you so much for being with me today. I'm very happy to have you here and excited to share your information with our listeners and all of your wisdom and insight because you really do phenomenal readings. I've never experienced anything like them. So, you know, we uh, talked about you being from Chicago, but how did this all come about? Well, it you know, I, it's definitely, um, I, I consider them the wow moments, the miracles of when the students ready, the teachers always presented. I just didn't know I was a student when my teacher showed up and she just wowed me. Um, she's the one that introduced me to positive thinking, the game of life and how to play it. And I made a commitment back in 1978. I've I would read it, I would apply it, and I would log the miracles, and if it worked, I would teach it, and I've been teaching it ever since. And then I met another wow factor when I met my uh, numerology uh, numerology teacher, 
and she was highly spiritual and very gifted and uh, took me under her wing. So it's been a process and about, I don't know if I shared this with you, when I went to Sedona in, I believe it was 2007, and I'm, um, you know, I love to do readings, and when I get a reading, it's got to feel right or whatever, and I was impressed, and this woman happened to be a Chandler, which I never had experienced that before, so I was drawn there, and I'm a big believer, as you are, too. There's no coincidences when God's at work, so um, she wasn't there, and I started to leave, and the woman that was behind the counter slapped a phone in my ear, and she said, I'm down the street. And I said, that's okay. It wasn't meant to be because that's how I believe you know that. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I said it wasn't. She goes, on the contrary, I need to talk about your work. And there was the smug part of me that says, oh, does she want to talk about my Fortune 500 <laughs> work, you know, <laughs> company that I work for? Or does she want to talk about my spiritual work? So she intrigued me. And um, so I said, I'll come back. And I did. And um, she said, uh, the first thing that she said to me, she said, I see you as a stenographer. You're here to repair souls. And it just kind of blew my doors off because I know that numerology is reading your, you know, it's your soul, it's your blueprint. And she said, but I see you taking notes. And I said, I'm not taking any more courses. I've been studying for 20 years at that, 25 years at that time. And she said, um, on the contrary, she said, um, uh, you don't need any classes. You could teach the class. And when I came home, my work changed. And I, it has nothing to do with the numerology book. Now it's psychic numerology, which you've experienced. And, um, yeah. and, I, read, and I read Schustikars, which nobody reads anymore. That was another teacher that came along the path. And she was a Schuster teacher. And I call it tarot with a twist because it's astrologically, psychically, and numerically read cards. And they were developed in the 80s, and nobody reads them anymore. So it's kind of a lost art, and the book that goes with it doesn't tell you a thing. So uh, it's really, I think, a development tool uh, if you can find a deck. That's the kicker. You know, I. So, so at that point, you know, when you started developing this, did you decide that the Fortune 500 world was no longer for you and that you were segueing more into the spiritual world? You know, God works in mysterious ways because I had, um, I always said, you know, if I had more time, I would do more of the spiritual work. Well, I had an auto accident when I was working for the Fortune 500 company. And so as a result, I had to give up my corporate job and I started doing more of the spiritual work. Um, So there is a plan. Uh, A lot of times we don't know, you know, I don't read for myself and I don't read for my family. I have people like you and Tiffany and Jimmy Mack and several different people that I feel comfortable with. Um, Carol Ann. Mm -hmm. Um, So my gift is it's, very different. And it my is mission different. Is, is, your, your readings are wonderful. Yeah. But, you know, one of the things that I I tell people, you know, is that our listeners is that so many times we're meant to be on a particular path. It's many times difficult to recognize it. And then once you recognize it, especially if you don't have much experience with it, it's difficult to know how to proceed and what to do, where to go, to have the faith and validation in the fact that you're doing the right thing. And as you say, God works in mysterious ways. And so sometimes by hook or by crook, you get there. You get on that path if you're willing and open. Sometimes that path to get there is really difficult. Like you said, getting in an auto accident, at that time you may have, might have felt that that was the worst thing that could have ever happened to you. And have we not all had these experiences that you may be going through something that you feel is the absolute worst thing you could be going through, but at the end, when that silver lining, the sun comes out through the clouds and the silver lining is shining, then you see that it was a really rough path full of potholes and twists and turns and bumps, but you somehow managed to be where you're 
where you feel like you fit, where you feel like you belong, where you feel like you can make a difference to others. Well, that's the whole thing is, and and I've had the pleasure of meeting people along the way that definitely were light workers. And uh, I met this one healer one time and he said, I conduct energy, I don't absorb it. And I thought that was very interesting. And I incorporated that into my work many, many years ago because I think it's so important because we're all energy centers to begin with anyway. So um, it connects to the numerology because the numerology is the name on your birth certificate and your birth date, and that's how you're registered in heaven. So our souls design all these, uh, this blueprint. And even though that I must have designed this blueprint to have an auto accident and give up a six-figure job to do the work was not, you know, was designed. I mean, nothing is by chance. Um, sometimes, like you said, and I think you put it beautifully, is that it's not always easy. Uh, or you question, no, you, know, one, you know, you question why or how or whatever, and then you have to practice faith because the fear will – it really stunts your growth and faith is what gives you the rocket fuel. Beautifully said. You, you also, and you also have a lot of wisdom that you impart with your readings. And there are some things that have really stuck with me with some of the readings that you have done for me. There are some things that were such a wonderful life tool about the traffic lights, for instance, the yellow, green, and red traffic lights, I think <laughs> just helps people figure out, is this really going the right way? <laughs> Am I getting a green light, a yellow light, or a red light? Well, that's brilliant, and it's so simple and so easy to just think of, uh, to picture, and help you make decisions. Um, well, even, yeah, I, I'm mentoring and life coaching kind of gets intertwined with the readings, as you know, Laura, you've experienced it, Um, Mm -hmm. because it comes through like a download, you know, a download um, from heaven. But I've had a lot of life experiences. I definitely believe in positive thinking, and my spirit guide gave me that traffic light principle and a few other things that are being written in my book. Um, I'm slow Charlie here, though, on it. You're working on a book? Oh, yeah. Most of my... Um, Fantastic. My, my tools or what, what, what's been given to me over the years to help people, and I, like I said, I love to mentor, too, um, is going to be in the book because there's no way I could have come up with that, those principles all just all by myself. They were definitely spiritually inspired. That's fantastic. What, you know, I'm going to take a caller here in a minute, if that's okay with you. But there are some oh. other things I'd like to talk about a little bit more about your book, and I would like to you to talk about your mentoring and coaching as well. So do you mind if I take a caller here? And then, you know, in between some calls, I'd like to talk about a little bit more about that. One of my goals on this show, as my regular listeners know, well, not so much a goal, but there is always a message for each and every one of my listeners in this show. And when you hear something that resonates with you, that grabs your attention, that makes you stop and think, that message is for you. There's something in that for you to pay attention to and look at. It's being drawn to your attention for a reason. So each and every show, there is a message for each individual and So I like to, you know, when I have people on that do amazing things like you do, and I have so many wonderful guests, but, and and I, they're all different. So my goal is to reach everyone and, and hope that there's a particular message, guidance, insight, something that's going to help them grab attention, grab their imagination. Sometimes it's imagination that needs to be, to be fired up. So thank you for, for doing that, but I really want other everyone to, to know about all the things you do because I think it's beneficial for everyone. 
All right. Well, you know what? I have my friend, Mr. Nathaniel, is waiting. So, hello, Nathaniel. It's been a while. How are you? Good. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you. Good to hear from you. And I'm so glad you're calling. And I, I imagine you're calling to ask Ms. Joanne Leo a question. Yeah. Um, do, do you do readings by your name and birthday? Yes, I do. In fact, that's exactly how I get my information because it's a download from heaven. Your name and it, that's on your birth certificate is how you're registered, and it is a blueprint loaded with information. Your birth date is the predictor because it moves by the year, by the month, by the week, by the day. And so a good numerologist will, if you're making decisions or you have an impasse or whatever, they can look at the month, the week, the day, um, and come to uh, I, I, all the days of the year. Like Einstein was born the day of relativity, and Jimi Hendrix was born the day of electrifying excitement. Uh huh. Interesting. So I know all the days of the year. So Muhammad Ali was born the day of the heavyweight. So, uh, like I said, I know all the days of the year. Well, that's really cool, but what's most important is your date, your birth date. Yeah. Uh, what's your birth my, date, Mr. My, my May 1st, 1957. Well, see, you've got a gift from God right there when the year that you were born because you brought that forward from heaven as a master builder. That's somebody who seeks more information, wants to get the information to help others to build on their strengths. So I would say the last 18 months uh, is, a, well, really, you're, you've got to get through the 18 months. So it started probably, um, I want to say, September of last year. So once you get through to your birthday of next year, you should be through it. So uh, not this birthday, another uh, 10, uh, 10 right. months. Right. So you're, you're what I call in the... So the cocoon butterfly stage, you know, is kind of transformation. And it's yeah. really, when you get to the stage here, it's kind of like, I like to, to equate it to like going into the attic that you've been stuffing stuff up there for eight years and you walk up the steps, you open up the door and you go, oh my goodness, oh my God. Uh, I've got, what is all this? And it's people, places, and things, situations, events, whatever. And what's the keeper? What needs to go? And what needs to be thought out? So that's where you're at as far as making decisions, making changes, evolving, um, honing yourself as well. Um, And then it gives you a a chance after your next birthday of rocket fuel. I like to say that's the new beginning for a new eight-year cycle. Wow. All right. Hey, uh, well, thank you. Well, You're Nathaniel, welcome. it sounds like you need to make some connections with NASA over there because if she's talking about rocket fuel, that means your life's about to go am. So I'm glad to hear is, that. Is that. Stay in touch, will is you? That or is that in uh, next May? Correct. Because you have some... You have some revelations to do. It's like the cocoon and it's the caterpillar spins the cocoon and it's a crystallis. It liquefies and comes out totally different. That's the process you're going through for these 18 months. What have you learned? How are you changing? What needs to go? What needs to stay? What needs to evolve? All right. So. Uh, All right. Thanks, you- Nathaniel. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. I hope that helps. And, you know, I think that we all go through that t- from time to time, don't we? We sort of clean our clean our house where we go through getting, we need to go clean our house from time to time and getting rid of the things that don't belong in our lives anymore or that don't fit on our lives anymore or that don't make us feel um like ourselves and whether those are physical things or 
people, situations, places. And I, I talk about this pretty frequently on my show. So there's some more, some more reminders that we need to clean house, proverbial house, physical house, spiritual house. We need to clean, clean up. And um, yep. however, yep. sometimes it, sometimes we yep. just need to spend a couple minutes every day to, to take inventory and make action on that. What are you going to say, right. Joanne? I'm sorry, hon. I didn't. I thought you were finished, but. Um, when this comes up in the chart, um, sometimes it comes up, you know, in the months of the year of where it's like, an, you know, an aha moment or something that you need to clear up. So it comes up frequently. But when it comes up as your personal year, it's pretty intense with those 18 months. It forces uh-huh. you to look at things a lot differently than just doing dusting as opposed to moving everything to the middle of the room and scrubbing. Do you see what I'm I saying? Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah. when this comes up, and I can think about the times that this hit my start. Was it an easy rodeo? No. Was it uh, something that I may not have looked at before? Yeah. Um, in denial or uh, maybe people shift. Some people move during this energy. Some people quit their jobs or get a different job. Uh, some people change relationships. Um, Some people totally regroup. Clean the slate. And it's all about keeping the faith and staying strong during that time and understanding that we can't always see what's on the other side. But if we stay stay in faith and stay strong and, and keep following that path and things will work out okay. Well, it's like with fear. What fear is the opposite yeah. of faith. So if you're if you're focused on fear, then your faith is on the back burner, right? Right. And so I like Shin's idea. If you, I like Shin's idea when you focus on the negative, it's like a boomerang because you've given thought and energy to what you fear. So that it's like a boomerang. So exactly what you fear comes back, comes right to you, because you put that's where you put your energy thought. Very important. Very important to remember that. Focus on what you want in your life yeah. rather than what you're worried about or what you're afraid of. Right. And well, allow allow things to come to your life. Well, aware, be aware of how you think and which, you know, is a positive or negative. Is it fear, you know, is it, you know, are you in fear? Are you in doubt? You know, that's all negative, right? Correct. So having faith um, of what you would like to happen or making a statement in a positive way that everything's going to work out for my divine and highest good is a lot better than being fearful. I don't know what's coming tomorrow. Yeah. Well, Joanne, let me take another caller, um, area code 562. Hi, good morning. Who's this? Hi, this is Yvonne. Hi, Yvonne. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Sure. Um, I had a question. Does she uh, do medium readings? Like if I want to get messages from the other side, from spirit, does she do those? Well, I usually refer those to Carol Ann. Um. I'm pretty much working on the soul of your past and your future. Oh, okay. and what's well, going I'll on? Um, well, I'd like what's to read some of you, so whatever you, whatever you pick up is great. Um, my birthday is August 14th, 1984. Okay. Well, it's really amazing, and I, I think Laura will find this true, like even when I do expos, of how energy of the same numbers keep coming up for me, just like some different um, situations, right, Laura, where people will have either relationship things or job things or whatever, and it kind of of comes in droves, right? Um, Right. But you, too, were a master builder in a previous lifetime, and that's not always comes up. And I've just had two callers in a row that have that. Um, I would say that you haven't always had the easiest emotional rodeo. Is that correct, Yvonne? Yes. Okay, so... What I want to say is stand strong in your shoes and 
uh, try to be outside the circle, like I've said with Laura many times. Outside the circle, you see things or the problem differently than when you're in the middle of it. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So this is a, a year of you kind of really taking stock and of uh, really going for your goals, um, really moving forward. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. But, but, but it's, I feel like you pro, you're procrastinating a little bit. Is that true? Yeah, I think so. Uh, that's what I would say is that it's like weighing out uh, what's good for me, not good for me, healthy for me, not healthy for me. It's kind of like making those decisions, but I do feel that you need to get the movement going here. Uh, don't be afraid. Are you fearful right now of change? No. Good. Okay, so what is holding you back? I'm not sure. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm not sure, but I don't fear any changes. I'm, I love changes if it's all good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, this is like weighing out emotional stuff or how you feel about things or setting your goals. Does that make sense? Yes. Does that make sense, hon? Yes, and it also, does. Do you have any, and do you have any legal things coming up this year? Yes, I do. I um, I'm got to go to court regarding my SSI benefits. Right, because I really feel like there's something legally going on here. Also, July, August, and September are uh, there's a pretty strong influence there on weighing some stuff out. Um, now, the thing is, is, is there more paperwork? Or what, is there a delay? Or is there going to be a resolution? That's what I'm feeling in those months. July, August, September. Oh. Okay, okay, great. Do you see me? Do you see me getting my SSI benefits, or you can't see that? I do, but it, it's going to take longer than you think, or what you was imagined. Let's see. Okay, here. great. Okay. I think you'll have better information October, November, and December, but I do feel you're going to get it. But you have to. It, it's testing your patience, my love. What can I say? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> so, well, it's that's the great part about looking at your soul, honey, because that's that's how I just get tuned into your what's going on with you. Somebody could have that same birth date, and I might have different information because it's what spirit wants you to know. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. You're All welcome. Right, you're hang in there. Water. Okay. Bye, Thank guys. you for calling. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, sometimes we, you know, the the patience, having the patience and waiting for things that just seem to take forever, it can really be trying, but it seems like things always work out at the right time in the right way even though we don't always we don't always get that. Well, so, I Julian, don't know about you, Laura, but letting go and letting God is you know, is uh, the test sometimes, you know? Yes. Yes, and it's a big test. But, <clears throat> gosh, it was flying colors. So, Joanne, tell me, please, tell us a little bit more about your your book. Are you, do you have a um, <clears throat> release date in mind? Oh, no, I'm still working on it because it's evolved. Uh, you know, I've been doing this, oh, my gosh, close to, I hate to say it, 40 years of studying. And then mm-hmm. 30 years of doing the work, uh, it, it's just so interesting because um, I don't know where my my gift my gifts and my life coaching they merge, and it's really for the soul's benefit. And I think so. Stan Sandler hit the nail on the head. That's why I had to stop everything and kind of regroup uh, because it is a download from heaven, and I. It's definitely more important to help repair souls on their journey in this lifetime as opposed to many, many lifetimes, which will come out of their chart of things that were their stumbling blocks. So it's been um, an interesting study for me as well with each client I do. 
I learn something new or I'm more uh, in tune to guiding them in the right direction to handle the what they chose for their karmic path. So when someone, tell people how to get in touch with you to get a full reading and then let us know what, what you do, what they, what they receive from you, you know, what you look at when you do a full reading for someone. Well, they can get a hold of me usually by phone or text because uh, I work by appointment only. It's uh, 727-743-3400. I do have a web page, which is psychic, and it's Joanne, J-O-A-N-N-E, leo.com. And you can reach me by the same, except at gmail.com. Okay. So that... Unfortunately, my, dog, my dog's acting up in the background there, so I have to move. Well... Okay. It's usually mine, so we'll just give mine a rest today. Mine <laughs> usually starts. I think my dog's bark has been heard around the world, and um, one day I just hope to call the International Space Station and have my dog bark so that can say, because my dog, has, has a, he's a really big dog, and she has the loudest voice I've ever heard in a dog, and it's it just, you know, makes the house shake sometimes, and I always laugh and say, I'm calling the space station, and you know, see if wow. you guys can hear her bark from, from 500 miles above her. <laughs> yes, I, this yeah. was a rescue. This was a rescue, and I just, that's one thing I just can't seem to change in her, and she just goes off. So I love her dearly, but I'm just fine. Yeah, it's like, they it's have their own way. <laughs> yes, yes. So people oh, can so get in I touch with you by... Mm-hmm. I, what, what I do that's different is, is that um, my readings are, are totally clairvoyant, um, but they're mixed with the knowledge of having my master's in numerology. So it's kind of like spirit blends with the knowledge, and it just comes out very different. You can't find what you get out of my readings in a numerology book or in a numerology program. Um or on the computer, you know, people say, oh, I'm a five, I'm a three. There's so many components besides that light path that gives so much energy and so much information. Your consonants, your vowels, uh, your path. And they're very, in, they're very detailed. Your readings are very detailed. I know that from experience. And the insight that you bring in the wisdom is – you know, it, it's a beautiful package that you do. So I, you, you do more than you do more than you know surface simple answers. You really uh, many times get into the crux of the problem, the heart of the problem, to help people in, in a very kind and compassionate way. See, well, maybe where where are you causing your own problems, or what's causing problems in your life? So basically, you can help you help people get out of their own way a lot of times, right. which I think is that's, really wonderful. That's exactly. And, you know, life happens like a, like a book, Laura, in um, each chapter we need to learn something. Well, it's the same thing with life. A lot of times we can get stuck in a chapter and it's like Groundhog Day. Do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I love what I do because, you know me, it's being the straight shooter. I go, okay, let's get unstuck here. All right. This is the stumbling block. This is, you know, this is something that you can work on. It's not like gloom and doom here because I, I really like to help them turn their critic into a cheerleader instead of the gloom and doom. Beautiful. We need more cheerleading of our own selves sometimes, I think. Hey, Julian, I have another caller if you'd like to take another caller. Oh, sure. I'd, I'd love it. All right, this is uh, area code 310. Hello, who's this? Hello, thank you. This is Mindy. Well, hello, Mindy. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for taking my call. Sure. And I think the last time I talked to you, you were thinking about moving. Is that correct? That is right. 
Good. Well, um, I'm anxious to see how things are going. Thank you. Well, what's I, your question I, uh, for Minnesota. Joanne? I, I would love to receive any um, message that I need to hear, and the move is still a, still a question. All right, Mindy, what's your birthday? April 5th, 1956. You know, it's your birthday really kind of matches your name. Now, is your name Mindy on your birth certificate, or is that a nickname? That's my name on my birth certificate. Okay. See, the thing is, is that you're really, um, I like to say you're a grounded girl here. You know, you like stability. You like things organized. Am I correct? Absolutely right. Yeah, and it goes with your name and your birthday. It's kind of like I don't know where one begins and one leaves off because it's, it's <laughs> that strong in your chart. I know that you're sensitive, but I know that you're a can-do girl, okay? When a yes. push comes to shove, you can do it, okay? And Thank you. you sometimes get, yeah, you definitely can get out of your way. That's for sure. Um, mm-hmm. I think that uh, this is kind of really a great year for you to kind of uh, – express, uh, plan, and uh, not be so rigid with yourself. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. I've had a lot of responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Right. Are you moving towards family? Is that what the deal is here? Well, right now I am visiting my father who's 92, so I've been helping him out. But I, I, and I I was a single parent and I took care of my mother and I'm thinking, oh, I'm not a spring chicken, tick-tock, tick-tock. It's time for me to get moving here. I've taken care of a lot of people. and I know I you have. have. A, you know what? You were a healer in a past life, so I get where you, you, yeah, where you get to scare giving, but yet you you don't want to, you kind of like sacrifice your, your, yourself too. Yes. Am I correct? And absolutely um, correct. But it, I really want to get into next year. I think that was really going to be um, where you're really going to move. I really, you know, you've got to give it through to the end of this year. But I'm feeling like once once January 1 hits, the whole energy field is going to change for you to to uh, make that that change, that move. Do you have you an idea mm-hmm. where you want to go? Yes, I. I I'm originally from Los Angeles, but I have a business overseas. And I would like my dream would be to spend six months in England and six months in the States here. That would be ideal because the, that would support the energy I'm picking up next year for you to make that wonderful. happen. Yeah, I really that feel good about wonderful. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, I know that you've got responsibilities on your shoulders. Let's get through December. Uh, I'm really excited about yes. – we can look at different things here. But I'm really excited about you, you getting off the stump of sacrificing yourself for other people. I understand it's a wonderful thing to help and do, but you've got to mm-hmm. also be true to you too. So make sure you're yes. having some fun while you're while you're taking care of the, you know your family members. Aw, thank you. I, I will. You're welcome. I I Great. guess what I always say to the to the universe: show me the way how to be of service. <laughs> they took me very seriously. Yes, they <laughs> did. But um, but it's from your past too. You've done this before, so this is not a oh, new routine. Okay. This is just this is just a learning curve, honey. Wonderful. A learning curve, not Thank to be, you so not much. To You're welcome. Thank Thanks, you. Minnie. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Take care. You, you too, and stay in touch and let us know how you're doing. Okay. Will do. All right. Bye now. Thank you. All right. So, Joanne, tell me about, you know, when you you say that you mentor and you life coach people how does that work do they do you work one-on-one with people absolutely because everybody has their own book right Mm -hmm. and their chart will reveal a lot of their strengths 
that they may have not acknowledged. Um, it, it may indicate definitely some stumbling blocks. You know, um, I was just uh, did a chart the other day, and it was apparent that uh, drugs and alcohol is what took out the soul the last time. And guess what the challenge is in this lifetime? Drugs and alcohol? Exactly. So okay. it's great to have your chart because when you have somebody who can understand the soul along with what's going on in the physical, oh, my God, you, you know, it's creme, that's the creme de creme there. And, and so sometimes we them. need to release those past be- remembered, I guess, behaviors or comfort zones. Well, it, it boils down to uh, a lot of times I'll, I'll be able to see that from the the maiden name or the family name um, because there's karma, honey. Yeah. And families incarnate, you know, over and over again, mm-hmm. too. Get the lessons learned. I see. That's very, you know, it's it's very fascinating. It's very fascinating insight. It's fascinating to <laughs> to realize that there are, are so many. Um, I I don't know if the word attachment uh, to the past is if attachment is the correct word, but but. We have I like to call so them many. You what? I like to call them lessons, Laura, because when I do lessons. a chart, you know, you're it's it's like your record. You know what I'm saying? And you design what your soul needs to work on in this lifetime. When I do a chart, I'm just the interpreter. Remember, like she said, mm-hmm. you're here to repair souls. So if if in fact like. This uh, person that I was reading the other day, believe me, they found me. <laughs> and you know it's it's not like, you know, lickety split, you can find me. But I do believe that everybody that does find me is meant to be. I really do. And for them to overcome what they chose to experience is that they may have never understood that because it's a soul thing. Yeah, and so many out, people don't understand minute. that those those type of things may still exist in their lives. And I think that that's a big tool to understand that maybe what's happening in your life is because of a, a past life. So it's really healing on so many levels and so many layers that you do. I, I think it's amazing work. And you're right. Very few people do what you do at the level that you do. And the insight and the, that you bring to people to help them move forward to, and I'm always telling people, you know, to find your, your highest, happiest life, that's your birthright. And for you to keep getting the guidance and the help and the insight and whatever tools are available to you from your angel, from people like Joanne, uh, from, from the things that are presented to you in your lives to help you be the happiest and healthiest that you can be. And it's just another beautiful way to help get to that point because, you know, we all want to be happy and healthy and so do God and the angels. So um, Joanne's here to help us reach that. It's a way to go. So, it's, so it's, ladies and gentlemen, you can reach Joanne at 727-743-3400. That's how you can get in touch with her and set up a reading, a very nice in-depth reading that will help you to find your true path and happiness in life, too. All right. Absolutely. Joanne, um, <laughs> how about another caller? I have uh, area code 386. All right. Well, hello and good morning. Good morning. Hi, who's this? Cindy. Hey, Cindy, how are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for taking my call. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Cindy, what's your birthday? Um, li- birthday is four twenty eight sixty six. Okay. There we go again, Laura. Another master builder number. The third one today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cindy. What? Uh, did you? 
Did you have a particular question, Cindy? Well, I was wondering if you can give me any insight um, as to my work and finances uh, in a residential move, which I'm hoping are all tied together. But if you could, just anything you see uh, or insight how to move things forward. Well, you are in the perfect year for finances or to make a major move where it can be to uh, where it can be very good for you financially uh, to make a move either to a better position, better job, uh, restructure your finances. This is your power year. I've been told that several times, but every door keeps slamming shut. <laughs> like mm-hmm. it's like I I know this is it. I know this is it, and I'm trying to make something happen, but. Um, well, see, here's, here's the thing. God's time and your time are two different things. Okay. So I know that you've got to get through June, and then things are going to start turning around for you. Okay. So it's not like, you know, and thanks for the confirmation, because I love it when people say, oh, somebody else told me that in a reading or whatever, that things are going to be really good for me. Um, <clears throat> but... I uh, certainly, um, I'm going to absolutely charm this dog. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> All I you know, see. they have their own minds, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, see, the lawn guy is here, so they think they have to protect me or something. I don't know. Uh, but this, Hey, my head of security is two and a half pounds. <laughs> I, love I, can understand, I think maybe me. we need a show where we have all our dogs get together and just talk. <laughs> and 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 when I say that, it's really funny because the biggest dog in the house is ninety pounds, <laughs> and well, he just lays uh, there. Right. People can break in, step over him; he'll still be sleeping. <laughs> and she, she's like, "Oh no." Well, your next six months are going to be a lot better than your first six months. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that <clears throat> will enlighten you here, too. I think the thing is is that um, you can't get into negativity of, like, what, <clears throat> what happened yesterday or today or whatever, and it's not the right answer. Because, like I said earlier, God's time and our time are two different things. Uh, but I think the most important thing is that not to live in the gloom and the doom. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah, I keep trying to put one foot in front of the other and keep going. Um, waiting and, on the, um, the right know, door to open. Cindy, one of the things that I'm getting for you, too, is that part of this is part of this is a teaching and a learning for you to be like you're, you're going to use this to teach others, but it's almost part of a discernment lesson and um, it's it's supposed to be working out this way for you where at the moment where the doors you know you're you're asking for and the, you you feel that the doors are being shut but it's a way to show you the the right way and i'm not sure if i'm making sense to you the way i'm saying this because i'm picturing it and then the words are you know stuck unfortunately <laughs> but it's it's almost like an empowerment time for you to rise above those you know, the way that you perceive them to be door shutting for you, it's it's going to actually help you grow a lot faster and develop leadership, more and more leadership, which is going to help you teach others and lead others. So it's really a, a period of strength building for you as well. Well, I mean, as silly as it sounds, it may sound. Mm-hmm. You're in a good cycle piggybacking on what Laura said too. Uh, because this is like a whole been learning experience. It's just like with my life coaching. I've gone through so many different experiences, and I'd often question God, well, why is that? Well, now I know why, because now I can guide someone else to work through it, to see the light at the end of the tunnel, to try this, to change my uh, the, the thought process on um, the outcomes. Do, do, does that make sense? Yes. And yeah, I really so. think thank you, Cindy. 
Yeah, you were a healer before, honey. That's why everything's so intense for you. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I do healing work now, too. Mm-hmm. Good. Wonderful. It's Protect good. yourself. It's good. good to hear. We need all the Thank healers we so can much. get in this world. Good luck. Good luck. Stay in touch, okay? And, you know, Thank everybody you. can um, reach out to Joanne at psychicjoanneleo.com for a reading, a full reading. And I think I have uh, run in, getting close to time here. I've got about another 10 minutes left. But I do have time for one question from area code 917. And uh, I say good morning. And who is this? Good morning. This is Ellen. Hi, Ellen. How are you? Just great. I'm very happy to be able to talk to you folks. Oh, good. Well, we're happy what? to have you here. What's, your What's on Ellen? your mind today? Um, my birth date is May 26, 1956, and um, I would like a reading regarding what your guest has been talking about. It seems like a life path issue. Um, whatever you can pick up would be fine with me. Did you say May 26? Yes. Okay. Um, are you studying anything right now or doing any of the spiritual work at all? Um, off and on. I don't do anything consistently. Okay. Well, that's fine. Like I, I mean, everybody's different. You know, there's no, uh, there's no set requirements like, you know, taking a college course here. You know, it's a life mm-hmm. course, okay. you know, and um, what I love about Laura, Laura, to me, Laura's voice is like listening to uh, a, a harmony of the, of just the most beautiful music. I mean, she just has that soothing, enlightening way of presenting things. Me, I'm like, buckle up and sit down because we got to talk about it. Right, Laura? <laughs> <laughs> right? You're funny. Yeah. You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, but yeah, no. that's that's yeah. how you roll. Yeah, I do. But um, what's really cool about you, uh, Ellen, is that this is the year for you, like almost like a big scale in front of you. And it's like weighing out, making decisions. What do I want to do? Good for me, not good for me, healthy for me, not healthy for me. And I, I just don't want you to procrastinate through it. I want you to kind of do pros and cons. Um Whenever I'm faced with anything, I just get out the sheet of paper because I don't want to procrastinate. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Um, you're a take charge kind of girl. So once you make up your mind, it's like, get out of my way. I'm you know, just going to do it. Am I, is that about right? Yes. Um, you also are very, have a very creative part of your – in your um, – in your chart, uh, you don't like to be told what to do, how to do it, where to do it, or when to do it. But you do you draw or paint or write or uh, create. Are you a crafter? I uh, know, but I do write. Okay, because the, when I'm looking at your um, chart, it's from a past life connection of either that it was had to do with the arts of some sort. Usually writers, it's the mark of the writer, the artist, uh, the person who drafts things or creates things. Could be an inventor, too. So you have that in your chart. And so uh, keep writing. I think um, you have a lot to say, and I think you can enlighten many others by doing so. Um, Thank you. So I feel like you've got a new project coming up in the fall or you've got something new planned. I think that's part of the scale thing is that you've got to make some decisions. And I feel like October, November, December is going to open up the window for you. Okay, great. Fantastic. Well, good luck and thank you for calling. Stay in touch with us and let us know how things are going. And... I know that, uh, you know, staying focused on having the faith and moving forward, um, we're wishing you all the best light and love, and stay in touch with us and let us know how you do. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. So.
So we've had a few 1956s today, huh, Joanne? Well, no, we've had these master builder numbers of 22 fours, which is, um, it came from a 1957 and 1984. And uh, Cindy, that had 1966, that all comes to master numbers of 22 fours. Can you believe it? So what, when you get similar things, what does that say? When you, when you keep getting the repetitive types, do you call it a, a type, an archetype? What do you call that when, when, say, for instance, so we keep getting master builder types? What does that, what does that say to, well, it, to it, you? It comes, like I could do a psych, I could do a psychic corporate party. Uh, I could do a regular party, okay? It is amazing how the souls are connected. Those souls were all inspired to call in today, and they go in clumps a lot of times. That's the Mm -hmm. best way I can describe it. And plus, when they have that number, they're always seeking to learn, grow, build, expand. Always. So we have a lot of people that are on the verge of, of having a, a stepping off point of growth of development. And that message is, I think, for everybody, too, that, you know, we, we're all capable. We're all ready. We're all surrounded by light and love and, and wisdom and guidance from our angels and from God. And to remember that maybe the words master builder are the words that you need to hear today reminding you that you are the the master of your life, the master of your future, and you're the you're the chief builder in your life. And to remember that if you don't like the way it's going, if you don't like the way that it is, then guess what? You've got the opportunities, you've got the possibilities, you've got the support to help make things the way that you would like them to be. You are the master builder of your own life. And another message for you is that sometimes we need to help other people build their own lives and master their own lives. So anytime that there's that a possibility to reach out or shine your light or give somebody a hand up or a pat on the back or a smile or a job well done or a suggestion to maybe make things easier or better, then please don't forget to, to help us. That's one of, I think, is being stewards of each other helping each other grow and develop and be the best that we can be. It's never a wasted effort to help somebody in, uh, at any given well, moment. So I think yeah. hmm. it's important, too, to know that it comes with a lot of responsibility when you have master numbers in your chart. And the master builder um, screams morally, just like kind of piggybacking on what you said, Laura. Um, it comes with a lot of responsibility. You can't lie, cheat, steal, scam people when you have that number because it will take, it will help you reach the moon or the worst if you would abuse those powers, it's prison or jail. So it's huge uh-huh. when you have the numbers to have a numerologist to explain it to you because it comes with a lot of responsibility. And it's an earned thing. I mean, people just don't get master numbers in their chart. They earned it. Hmm. Okay, well, that's interesting information. That's important to know that you've gone through enough wheels and deals and learned learned and earned. <laughs> you've learned I and like earned. that. I like that, learned and earned. <laughs> Well, the good news is, uh, I guess if you get to that point, then you know you've gone through a lot of tough stuff already if you've learned and earned. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got about one minute left. So I want to say thank you to everyone that has listened to my Angels and Healing Lights family that's always supporting me and uh, listening. And we thank you very much for joining with Joanne today. Please reach out to her for a full reading at psychicjoanneleo at gmail.com. You can reach her by phone at 727-743-3400. And her website is uh, psychicjoanneleo.com. 
and she is full of fascinating information. And jo- Joanne, by the way, you did a reading for me, and you were exactly right. My house is closing next month, the middle of next month. So you said it would happen in July, and you weren't kidding, and I thought it would never happen. <laughs> so you're absolutely right on that. Thank you so much for that insight. That was very helpful. So thanks, everybody. Thank Wonderful. you, Joanne. Many blessings to one and all. See you next week.